Hello students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Akhtar Ujjaman Babbi. Hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Dear students, I am also fine. Today, I will take your BGST class from your textbook, Bangladesh and Global Studies. My dear students, before going to the today's topic, I will ask you some questions from your previous lesson. Let's see who can give the answer. Okay. Let's see who can give the first question answer. Look at the board. First question. What is percentage of the contribution of agriculture in our economy? Can you tell me? Yes. Answer is... 20% right answer is correct now look question number two what is rural economy can you guess it absolutely right answer will be the activities of the rural people for their livelihood as well as to improve the standard of their living is called rural economy okay very good. Now, students. Question number three. On which do the village people of Bangladesh depend? Absolutely right. Your answer is correct. Answer is agriculture, right? Thank you very much. Now, question number four. Let's see who can give the answer. Yes. What is the principal basis of our national economy? Let's see. Absolutely right. Answer is, the principal basis of our national economy is rural economy. And very good. Now last question here. Who can give me answer? What is necessary to turn a nation's population into human resource? Yes, answer is education and training. Absolutely right. Now, students, before going to today's new topic, first I'll show you some pictures, then you have to guess what will be our today's topic. Okay, look at the board. First picture, what about the picture? Yes. This is a beautiful picture about village area, right? Natural beauty. You can see here, some people, they are working in field, right? Very good. Now look, another picture. Yes, this picture is about a village field, right? We can see here, crops field, isn't it? Okay, students, I'll show you another picture. Look at the boat. Yes, this picture is about break field, right? Break field. We can see here a smoke coming out, right? And polluting our environment. It's called air pollution, right? It's the last picture here. Can you guess? What about the picture? Yes, we can see the picture about rainy season, right? Flood, you know flood, what is flood? Now, I have shown you how many pictures? Yes, I have shown you four pictures. Now students, can you guess what will be our today's topic? Just think for a few minutes. Absolutely right. Your answer is correct. Yes. Today, I will discuss about your chapter name 9, Environment of Bangladesh. Today, students, I will discuss about lesson 1, 2, and 3. And your topic is Man and Environment and Environmental Problem, Cause and Effect. First, here you can see a learning outcomes. After starting the lesson, you will able to give answer of some MCQ question. 
and give answer of some related question explain of lesson 1 2 3 of chapter 9 okay okay my dear students here you can see your lesson number 1 man and environment man lives in his own environment his life is affected by the elements of the environment so you have to underline from here okay and four basic elements of nature are soil water air and light the sun is the main source of light and heat trees and soil grow up with the help of water air heat and light on the basis of these elements man's life on earth has been possible so students you know without tree we can live trees gives us uh, give us uh, what food oxygen and fruits isn't it for trees a man and human being are possible in this world and this part students you have to read from your book okay? so my dear students here you can see another important phase man came to a stable position studying cultivation since then he has tried to conquer nature he made vast cultivable land clearing forest and jungle so this part is a very important part you have to underline it okay he produced paddy wheat maize and many other crops he used some animals making them fat so you know from ancient time uh, people are trying to cultivate land to meet their demand okay he learned to hunt and cook some of the wild animals again he used hides of some animals so this part also you have to underline even he killed ferocious animals for self-protection again man planted some trees for his own needs so uh, you have to underline these trees protect him from different kinds of natural disasters so you know tree is very important tree gives us uh, tree gives us what uh, food huh? oxygen and shelter also so students you have to read it several times okay students here you can see your lesson uh, two three environmental problems causes and effect right so here uh, you have to underline man is a very intelligent being okay it's a very intelligent being he has made dams across the river using his knowledge so you make underline here he has used the current of water to move machine so people are using current to move machines in this way he gradually increased his domination over nature so there is a question like this how do people dominate on nature so this is the answer he made large mills and factories built cities and is driving cars and other vehicles so this part you must underline and another part with from with with the increase of population and with the competition among all the living in luxury the pressure on the environment is increasing okay so it can be said that the balance of man's life with soil water air and heat is being hampered so up to hampered so you must read it okay this part in a candle and also so students a full page you have to read uh, to get the answer of related question and to give the answer of creative question also now students here another page gradually the pressure of huge population is increasing in the cities of the country right the cities cannot ensure accommodation and other facilities for the excess population as a result the number of slum in the cities is ever on the increase so very important part uh, you know many people are coming to city for their livelihood that's why 
the city can give them proper accommodation to live. That's why the people are living in slum area, right? And last part, you can see the increase of various environmental elements cause the rise of temperature in the atmosphere. So this part is a very, what is the reason uh, behind increasing temperature of atmosphere? The sea level arise because of global warming. Okay, for this reason, many people of coastal region being more net become environment refuge. So this part you must underline it. And students, a rest part you have to read on self from your book. Okay. Okay, students, here you can see as another part, uh, you must underline this line. Again, with the increase of population, their demand is increasing, right? So more population need more thing. As a result, trees are being cut down. So bad effect for the nature. nature natural forests are disappearing. So land erosion and rise of temperature cannot be prevented. So it's a very important line. You must remember this line, okay? It is even making holes in the ozone layer in the space which prevents ultraviolet ray of the sun. So you know about ozone layer in your science book. So you must read it. Okay, my dear students, this is the last part of your uh, today's lesson, uh, lesson number one, two, three. Uncertain future. Yes, our future is uncertain because of soil pollution, water pollution, um, then sound pollution, air pollution, right? So you must read this page several times. So I am reading with you one time, just you can underline the important part, okay? Uh, look, to meet the increasing demand of the people, trees the Unending source of oxygen are being destroyed. So, why our oxygen destroyed? You can get the answer from here. The expected amount of oxygen in the air become uncertain because of indiscriminate destruction of forest and jungle. So, very, very important line. The supply of necessary food, medicine, fuel is getting at stuck. Decreasing the balance of oxygen has naturally increased nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and other gases responsibility for the rise of temperature. So students, it's a very important part. You must underline it. To ensure our comfort and luxury in the same way, we are exhausting various elements of nature, including mineral resources, birds and animals, rivers and canals. Okay, many spices of animals which help us in our struggle for survival have become extinct. This is a very important part. And gradually warming up the global rising the sea level by melting the ice in the two pools for this region, the low lying area of coastal countries are fearing to be submerged many countries including bangladesh and maldive may be affected so you read this page now students let's enjoy a video about our environment and about the pollution pollution of environment and cause of pollution and effect of pollution okay Rokia Begum's family has farmed this land on the banks of river Bangshi for generations. Now, her home is badly polluted. We used to drink water from this river and cook food with it. Now, we can't even wash our hands here. We get rashes in our feet if we stand in these paddy fields. We can't eat fish from these waters. Don't you see there are no more fishermen around? The Department of Environment has already classified three rivers around the capital as biologically dead because of pollution. 
The environmental impact of clothing production in Bangladesh shows how the true cost of cheap textile is being felt by the very poorest living downstream from polluting factories. While the production goes up day by day, the desire to cut pollution does not. Some factories conceal drains which dispose of untreated waste. All these factories built large drains and then installed large pipes inside the drains. When wastewater comes out from these drains, the stench is so awful you can't stand here. The poor bear the brunt of pollution. We are facing a lot of health problems. These waters are so dirty, it's nauseating. We can't cultivate anything in this land. Treating factory wastewater is an expensive process. Already we have invested a lot to, to make our pr uh, plant environmental friendly and sustainable. But uh, uh, at the end, the buyer are not willing to pay to keep it sustainable. A World Bank study said four major rivers near Dhaka receives nearly 1.5 million cubic meters of wastewater every day from 7,000 industrial units in surrounding areas. Some textile factory owners have been fined, while others say they're sticking to government rules. At the moment, you know the Bangladesh government is very conscious regarding the environment. The, I think the, all, all the factories com complied their compliance as per rules of our government, as for international rules and the international compliance. High Court judges made history earlier this year by declaring Bangladeshi rivers as living beings. As demand for relatively cheap Bangladeshi clothes remains high worldwide, it is the waterways and rivers here that are paying the price. Tanvir Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Sabar, Bangladesh. Thanks for watching video. Now, students, here I have given some keywords. You have to know uh, know the word with meaning. First word here. Procute. Procute mean obtain or to gain something. Okay. Now, word number two, con cure, successfully overcome. And word number three, ferocious. Ferocious mean cruel, right? Cruel. And four number word, asthma. Asthma is a long term inflammatory disease of the airways of the lungs. Okay. And five number word, extinction. Extinction is the termination of a kind of organism. And six number, aquatic. What does it mean? Living or living or found in or near water. Okay. Biodiversity mean, biodiversity is the variety of life on earth. Okay. And last, were exhausting, making on feel very tired. So students, these eight words you have to read from your lesson one, two, and three. Okay. Now, time for a related question. Students, I have given here five related questions with answer. You must read it. First question here, you can see what are the basic elements of matter? Can you tell me? Yes, they are water, air, soil, and light. Here you can see the answer. So you must read it. And question number two <clears throat> In which environment do humans live? Can you guess the answer? Yes, this is the answer. Human lives in the natural as well as the man-made environment, right? Okay, let's see question number three. Yes, how do trees grow up? Yes, I already have discussed from your book. So I also has have given answer here. Trees grow up with the help of water, air, heat, and like a very easy question, right? Now, question number four. Let's see how did man increase his domination over nature? How? Who can tell me? Yes, this is the answer. 
Man is a very intelligent being. He has made dams across the river using his knowledge. He has used the current of water to move machines. So people are using current to move machine and machine are machines are making our life so easy, right? So I am taking class you know, on computer. So computer is on type of machine and it is helping me, right? Now last question here. Five number question. Why the expected amount of dash? Yes, oxygen in the air become uncertain. Why? Yes, I already shown you in your book, but here I have given the answer. The expected amount of oxygen in the air become uncertain because of indiscriminate distraction of forest and jungles. Students, I already have shown you five related questions. So you must read it. You must read it. And another very important thing that you must read your book. If you don't read your book, if you don't underline the important lines, you can't get the answer of related question and creative question. So you must read your book several times, okay? Hopefully you read, thank you. Now students, I'll show you a creative question. Look here. I have given here a creative question uh, from your chapter nine, lesson one and one, two, three. But students, you know, to give the answer of creative question, first you have to read the steam, right? So I'm reading with you, Babul is a student one day when he was coming to Dhaka beside the river Puriganga, okay? He saw that the water of Buriganga is very dirty and black color, isn't it? On the bank of river, he saw many factories that situated, right? By the smell of that river water irritated him. So, have you ever seen Buriganga River? Yes, someone, someone uh, you can see. So, I already have seen the water is very dirty and black color. Okay. So, what are the reason? We can get the answer from here. First question, which is the biggest river in Bangladesh? Second question, how many basic elements are in the nature? Explain. And in the steam, what are the causes of black water in Buriganga? And D number, why is our future uncertain? Describe. Students, you have to learn these four questions. Look here. First question with answer I have given here. Which is the biggest river in Bangladesh? Yes, answer is here. What is the biggest river in Bangladesh? Okay. Now, question number two, students, you know, uh, question B, for B you have to give two para or two per because for question B, you have two marks, right? So how many basic elements are in nature? Explain. Yes, there are four basic elements in nature. These are soil, water, air, and light. The sun is the main source of light and heat. Trees on soil grow up with the help of water, air, heat, and light, okay? This is the first part and second part. On the basis of these elements, man's life has been possible. So students, you know, without tree, we can live. Without tree, human being, not possible in this world, you know, we get oxygen. Huh? We, you know, we get oxygen, various types of fruits, food from tree. And all types of food we get from so three is very essential for human beings in this world, right? Now, students, question number C. In the steam, what are the causes of black water in Buriganga? So I already uh, have told you, I have seen the water and now I have given here the answer. But students, question number C, you have to give three para or three per because it has three marks, right? 
So first para here, there are many reasons behind water pollution. Mills and factories are increasing with urbanization, right? So urbanization means our city area is increasing. Okay. This various infrastructural change in the urban area causes water pollution. So first para. Second part or second para, the main causes are throwing waste uh, into the river from mills and factories. And two number point, black oil of water vehicles mixed with water. So do you know what are water vehicles? Yes, boat, steamer, huh? launch, etc. And third number point, you can see rainwater washes away the residential waste and dry things into the river isn't it the last point here you can see and discriminate building up of mills and factories and last part and last para you can see in the steam there has been said about the black water of Briganga, which is the result of the above descents from mills and factories students you can give more reason more causes for water pollution okay now there is a challenge for you what is the challenge Let, let's see why is our future uncertain why what are the reasons you have to write it and you must write in four para or four part you have to describe properly I will help you. How can you write the answer? Let's see. What is this? Yes, this is your book, right? Last part of lesson three. So uncertain future. So I already have discussed about our uncertain future. Why our future is uncertain? You know, water, soil, hmm, air and light also polluting day by day so that's why our future is uncertain but you must read this page several times then you can get the answer okay students now time for feedback session okay i will ask you some questions from today's topic and then you have to give answer okay my dear students now time for feedback session look at the board first question here let's see who can give the answer what are the basic elements of nature can you guess it yes answer is the basic elements of nature are water air soil and light absolutely right now Second question here, in which environment do human live? Can you guess? Yes, answer is human live in the natural as well as the man-made environment. Okay, now students, here question number three, how do trees grow up? Can you guess the answer? Yes, answer is trees grow up with the help of water, air, heat, and light. Isn't it? Okay. Now, question number four. How did man increase his domination over nature? Can you remember the answer? Yes. Man is very intelligent, right? Man is very intelligent being he has made dams, uh, dams across the river using his knowledge. He has used the current of water to move machines, right? Okay, last question here, five number. Why the expected amount of oxygen in the air become uncertain? Why? Can you guess the answer? Can you remember the answer? Yes. The expected amount of oxygen in air becomes uncertain because of indiscriminate 
distraction of forest and jungles okay so my dear students hopefully you have understood the topic now my dear students can you tell me what is next yes look at the board now time for homework your homework number is 13 right from chapter 9 students from lesson 1 2 and 3 you only you have to write why is our future uncertain why already i have discussed from your book right see students you have to write this question in your sw copy then you have to submit it to your subject teacher i'm telling the question again why is our future uncertain you have to describe it okay this is creative question number d so you have to make four para okay or four part okay my dear students hopefully you have enjoyed my class thanks for watching take care Allah Hafiz.